up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna look at the passes and i know a lot of people have already made their minds up on this um everyone is slamming the champion pass and they think the forge pass is better and i do agree however you need to review this on a monthly basis so we have a quick look at the forge pass it's only 20 quid. You don't need to spend 40. You spend 20 quid, you will still get all these juicy rewards. However, it depends on the gear set, in my opinion. So if we scroll down and have a look, you can get Instinct, Bolster, Defiant, and Righteous. Um, Instinct, Bolster, and Righteous, in my opinion, are like god tier. They are the best set out of these ones. And I'd prioritize Instinct first, then Bolster, and then Righteous and Defiant last. Defiant, I think, is a gear set you can skip. But um, that's just my opinion. And then Champion Pass. Okay, so this is £40 for um, for Xena. And that's a lot of money for one champion. So she is a good champion. I think she's going to be really interesting. Um, but she's not going to be like broken she's not going to be a like she won't be a huge game changer compared to some of the other nukes um and if you look at it this way as well the free login champions that like playing have given us like wukong ronda ninja they have been like on another level and wukong easily slams xena into the ground like you just can't compare saying that though she is still a good champion but on this case, I would skip this champion pass and choose the forge pass instead if I was a spender. But what you need to think about is in the future, the next champion pass, this champion could be like God tier. If they bring out like another Duchess and she's like 40 pounds, I would definitely choose Duchess or a Duchess like level of champion over anything in the forge pass. Like, that would just be game breaking. You like Duchess is such a game changer. Like she is one of the strongest champions of all time and be able to get a champion on that sort of level would be so much more valuable than the forge pass. It just depends how things play, like play out in the future. Um, so I would say in general, you're always going to take the forge pass unless they really put a God tier champion up for grabs in champion pass. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you guys going for Champion Pass? Are you going for Forge Pass? And I do just quickly want to say as well, I am so annoyed how they've done this. Um, I think it's just wrong. I don't think that they should release champions that you can only buy. And if it's a champion that you can only buy, I know there's like a very slim chance you can get um, Xena in other ways, but it doesn't count in my opinion. It's not the same. And doing that, I just think it's pretty disgusting and shameful. And that, you know, if they do the if they keep doing this, I think they will lose players. Um, I think it's okay to do it with like sort of mid to strong champions, which I would class her as a strong champion. But if they start releasing god tier champions that you can only buy. That is that will kill the game. That will be the final nail in the coffin. Anyway, guys, I've been the real deal. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.